Merle Hodge, UA lecturer and novelist, has accused the police service of grand charging in their fight against the illegal use and sale of fireworks. She wrote an open letter to the Attorney General, Commissioner of Police and the Environmental Management Authority, highlighting seven points which need to be looked at. Rishi Harinanan has this report. In the letter, the UV lecturer said the behavior of using loud explosives, we are told, is illegal, and the law enforcement agencies are impotent when it comes to enforcing this law. She said illegally setting off fireworks and other explosives is not an offense committed secretly, requiring days, weeks, and even months of detective work in order to be prosecuted. These explosions, she noted, are set off in the open air in plain sight and unavoidably from hearing. Offenders can be caught red-handed, but when citizens call the police to report such an offense in progress, they might get a response which is, relax, it's only as night. She said the police seem to take no responsibility whatsoever for addressing this and similar breaches of the law. She noted the current feeble attempts at regulating the use of explosives are laughable, and the authorities have been laughing at the affected citizens. She went on to say arresting one hapless vendor is just scapegoating and tokenism, as every year figures in the leadership of the police service put out the same fat talk and grand charge. She suggested that if it is not there already, that permission for citizens to set up explosions for fun has to come with a specific date and window of time, example December 31st from midnight to 15 minutes after midnight. She ended by saying the proliferation of devices containing gunpowder can't be good for a country already living under the gun. Rishi Harinanan, CNews.